بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Okay, so today we are going to start our third lesson, and it is about uh, the alphabet sounds and the words made of them. So we will study for each uh, letter one or two words made of them. So we want to practice the, the sounds of each letter. So we will practice the writing, reading, and listening, and speaking, all of them, same time. So alphabet, Pashto uh, alphabet with examples. The Pashto, Pashto Alif B, the Misaluna Sara. So examples in Pashto we call Misaluna. One is Misol, and multiple is Misaluna. Another thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try teach uh, you standard Pashto, and I'm going to try using our own dialect. Like if we live in Salehana Kotlikala, so we have a different, distinct accent or dialect for each word. So you're going to try both of them. You're going to learn both of them, OK? It's going to be difficult, but we have to learn it. OK, so before that, uh, we need to know uh, harakat, diacritics. So these are in Arabic. We have very similar or the same uh, in, in Pashto. I'm sure most of you know these from your Qaeda Nuraniya or Arabic lessons. So in Arabic, we call it Fatha, Kasra, Dhamma. But in Pashto, we call it Zabar, Zer, Pesh. And we call these Zabar, Zer, Pesh in uh, Urdu as well. So these are some of them. The first one is Zabar, which goes on top of a letter. The second one is Zer, which goes under the, under the letter. The third one is Pesh, which goes on top of the letter. So the sound would be A, E, U. Okay? And then we have the Sukun. So in Arabic, if we have, let's suppose, a word as B, Ba, and we have sukun. We write it like this or like this. Okay, different ways of writing it. But in Pashto, normally we don't see anything on it, so it's absence of vowel. Okay, so if you put alif here, we have fatha on it or zabar on it, and when we connect in Pashto, we don't write anything in here, so it's absence of vowel. So automatically we understand it has sukun on it. Okay. You will see mud somewhere. And same thing, do zabar, as two zabar. In Arabic, we call it fathatain. And then you see another one, do zer, as two bars or two zabars, zers underneath a word, a letter, as called do zer, do pesh, and shadda. Shadda is like this sign. And then hamza, we have hamza is a letter in Arabic, but in Pashto, we don't have hamza. We use it for different purposes, and we will see that when we come to it, okay? So these are different uh, harakat, diacritics, or different signs we will be using in Pashto. Uh, very rarely, but we will still use them. OK, so we will study standard Pashto, and then we will have di dialect or accent, mainly for people speaking in area of Salehana, Kort, Likalash, Kort, this area. OK, the first one. Who can pronounce this? Alif. Alif. And what is this? Anar. Anar. So in, in standard Pashto, we say Anar, but in our own dialect, we say Anor. Can you see the difference? So we need to know both of them. Because if you learn Anar and speak that Pashto in, in our village, Salehana Kortlikala, it doesn't seem right. It's, it's kind of awkward. So you have to learn the local dialect accent along with the standard one. So if you go to Peshawar or main cities, then if you say Anar, it's fine. But if you are local, you can't say Anar, you say Anor. Okay? So you have to differentiate between the two, and you have to use it accordingly. And how it is written. So, so written, uh, have you got pen and paper, everyone? Yeah, whoever has got one, you can, they can try. So the first one, you try Alif like this. Okay? Then Noon. Connect with alif and dot, and then re. So that's how you write anar. Okay. So next time, the rest of you can bring in pen and paper so that you can practice here as well. Okay. So that's how you write anar. Let me know when you finish. Remember, you write it from right to left, not from left to right. Start from that side. Okay. Yes. Uh, 
You have to learn every word it sounds by itself. It means you, you can't put zabar zero on it. If I put, because when you read it, you have to understand this is an R. If it's in, because you have to learn individual words. It's a very good question. Very good. If I put uh, diacritics zabar zero on it, so um, what I mentioned here, I forgot to mention is diacritics, we call it zabar zero in Pashto. I forgot to mention that. So we call it zabar zero. So somebody can ask you, can you put zabar zero on it for me? Can you put harakat on it? So it's going to be alif, mat, alif, uh, alif, uh, zabar, noon zabar, there's a sukun, so we don't put anything on it. And anar, there's sukun on it as well. Nothing on it as well. So that's anar. But in Pashto Urdu, we don't put these harakat there. We put only in some words where there's a big confusion. For example, in Urdu, we normally do like this is can be is or us. The same word is. So the only difference is we put uh, is kasra or us dhamma. So that's how we differenti differentiate between the two. Otherwise, majority, probably 99.9%, .9 we don't put any diacritics, any uh, signs on it. We have to learn individual letters that this is an R. Whenever you see it, this is an R. And sometimes if you have two words with similar sounds or diacritics differently, then you understand from the context. When you read the context, before or after, you automatically know that this is going to be read like this. Next question, yeah? Shh. Yes. Uh, it would be the same if you write like this, Alif, Noon, Alif, Re, yeah. but it's not according to the transcript you have, you write Pashto. So uh, you, this is in a way, it's not correct way of writing. This is the correct way of writing. Okay. And another thing, if you, you might have noticed that because of re, uh, sorry, alif, alif is now here, I'm asking you the questions we studied last week. Is alif a connector or non connector? Connector. Connector. Yeah, non connector. Non connector. Connector. Non connector. Non -connector. Non -connector. Non -connector. Okay, why is it connector? Uh, because it connects from both sides. Alif. Yeah. Anyone else? Is it was a mid connector or something? No, it's not. It's a non. It's a non-connector because if you see here, this. If it was connector, then we would be able to connect this alif with ray. But it's not connect. Non. It is a non-connector. We can't connect anything here. Ray is. Ray itself is a non-connector, but it can be connected. Something can be connected before it. So it's because of this alif's property of non-connection, we can't connect this ray with it. You will see other letters where, for example, noon. Is it a connector or non-connector? Connector. 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 So if you see here noon, we can connect something after it. The difference of connectors and non-connectors was that, that you could connect something after it. With connectors and non-connectors, you can connect for both of them before it, but for non-connector, you can't connect after it. So this is the ex example. This is a connector. And again, we see Alif is non-connector, so it's not connected here. If this was connector, this would have been connected. So Ibrahim, your question again. The reason we write it like this, this like this, because the, this is a connector. This has to be connected with this one. This is one word. So in one word, you have to connect the letters which can be connected. And if you write another word next to it, then you have to have a space and then next word. So you, this is the difference when we, we study connectors and non-connectors. Okay? Any other question? Or very beautiful questions. Yes? Okay, next word. So the difference, standard Pashto is anar and local dialect is anor. Okay? The second made of, the same with A for apple, B for boy, so similar we say alif for anar, alif for arm, okay? So how do we write it? There are two ways of writing. Sometimes you use the mud, and sometimes you don't see the mud, so it's arm, okay? Again, this is a non-connector, this is a connector. 
but it's only two letters, so it's fine. Okay, um, any other? Okay, um, in standard Pashto, and both of them is same thing, no difference. It's arm, okay? B. How do you pronounce this one? Brush. Brush. Good. Else? Okay, good. It's the same brush in English, uh, there's no difference. So same brush in English, in Pashto, and in standard Pashto, and in dialect, okay? How do we write it? You start from here, okay? That's Re, this is Be, and Sheen. Okay? Those of you who got pen and pencil practice, write it down. So Be again is a connector, it's a non-connector and it's a connector again. So you have to learn each word. Okay. Finished? That's brush, okay? Okay, next one. But hey. But hey. Anyone else? Batah. Batah is uh, Urdu. Batah is Urdu. Bata. Bata. Bata is okay. But hey is standard Pashto and Bata is local. Okay, we say Bata. We don't say But hey <laughs> in standard, uh, in, sorry, in local dialect. So in standard Pashto, we say But hey and in local dialect, we say Bata. How do we write it? So we start with be, twe, he, ye, and then two dots. Okay. So who can differentiate? Who can uh, read individual letters for me? Be, twe, twe, ye. Good. So you need to first thing you need to know individual letters and then connecting them. Okay. Tue, is it a connector or non-connector? Who can? Connector. Why? Because it connects with both. Exactly. Can you see here? It's connected with ba, it's connected with this one. Hey, connector or non-connector? Connector. Good. And yeah, it's connector as well, okay? So the, the difference of uh, pronunciation is bat hey in standard Pashto and in local dialect we say bata. Finished? Good. You write it from right to left, okay? Next one. Who can pronounce it? Piala. Piali. Piale. Okay, so the way we write is pe, ye, as one, three dots. Pia. This is important, pia lei. So in standard Pashto, we say pia lei, but locally, local dialect, we say pia lei. So there's a, there's a alif missing locally, pia lei. And not lei, it's lei. So it's normally transferring to this ya, ye, or this one. So both of them. So transfer from here to there, local, with local accent or dialect, okay? So this is pia lei. See, focus on the lei. That's the standard Pashto. And Pele, Pele is local. We say at home, Pele. We don't say Pele. Okay? Okay, write it down. Next question. Is this a connector or non connector? Connector. Good. And Lam? Connector. Connector. No. This is connector. connector. It is connector because Alif is non connector. That's why it's not connected with that. It's not because of Lam, it's because of Alif. Alif is a non-connector, so you can't connect anything after Alif. That's why there's a space. And Lam itself is a connector. Okay? And next one. Ah. Oh. Paka. Pake. Good. Pake. Yes, Pake. Uh, how do you say in local? That's Pake is a standard Pashto. How do you say local dialect accent? <laughs> 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 no, just pake. Local. 
paquet. Normally, the slight difference is paquet and paquet. So paquet, no, 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 it's local dialect. So how you write it is pe, kaf. Today I'm writing in big, very big, so everyone can see it. <laughs> okay, so this is normal ye. There's nothing, no dots, no flick, and it's simple, paquet. So paquet is standard, and uh, sorry, paquet, paquet is standard and paquet is uh, local. Finished? Good. So from next, next week, everybody has to bring pen and pencil, okay? And you have to remember these words as well. So um, if depends how many we do this week. Next one. Who can say it? Tabar, good. That's standard uh, Pashto. Who's, who can say it in uh, local dialect accent? Tabar. No. Tabar, no? Tabir. No? Tabir. No? Tabar. No? Tabar. <laughs> Tabar. Tabar. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So how do we write standard one? Is T, B, Re. As T, Tabar. The standard Pashto Tabar, and locally we say Tabarge. Okay, we don't sometimes we say, but most of the time we say Tabarge. Let me know when you finish. So, everybody is enjoying it so far. It's easy, isn't it? So, we need to learn these vocabulary words, and once we do that, then we have to next step is going to be making a sentence. Okay, so we have to learn one or two words for each letter, so we will have around 100 words memorized by the end of this lesson. Not today's because it's going to be too long, so maybe next week is going to be the same thing. Once we finish that, then we have to go to the next level, which is making a sentence, okay? Use it, how to use it. Okay. Tala. Tala. Uh, standard, yeah, standard, oh, yeah. Tala. Tala, yeah, Tala is fine. Tala is fine, and stand uh, local is Tala is fine as well. There's no difference, unless the experts can say something. Yeah, so local is fine. If I make any mistake locally, just say it is wrong, because <laughs> it's better to correct it now than later on. So Tala, or standard is Tala, and local dialect is Tala as well. And how to write it? T, lam, he. T, lam, he. Is the lam connector or non connector? Connector. Don't say it until I ask you, okay? Yes. Non connector. Why is it non connector? It has, it is connected. You see, look, it's connected with T, it's connected with he. So it is a connector. Good. So it's connector because it's connected with both letters. Hey, is it connector or non-connector? Yeah. Oh, it is connector. Now you can't see from this example, but it is a connector. It, you can connect something after it. The, the shape changes from here, it becomes like this. Or it changes like this. Okay? So you can connect something before or after it, okay? Let me know you finish. Finished? Yeah. Writing it? Good. Okay. Next one. So what you said, all of you, it is local accent, local dialect. We use in our village, okay? Selekhana Kurlikala. Tupai. 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 Because of this here, look. It's, so you have a circle here. It's not a dot, it's a circle. And you have two dots. Two. And you have a... And because of this flick, you say pay to pay. So when we see this here, that means you have to add that sound pay and three dots. Okay. So uh, so standard pressure would be to pay, to pay, and locally we say to pay. 
Again, this change into normal year to pay. That's the difference. Normally, that happens with local. Like we just don't emphasize this one. We just transfer that into the normal year to pay, to pay. Finished? Yeah. Good. This one. Tamatar? Yes. Oh. Tamatar. Nah. Tamatar, yeah. So standard is tamatar, and locally we use something else. Potingar. Potingar, yes, potingar. So we use potingar, or plural is potingar. Uh, so tamatar is written like this. Te, mim, alif. Te, mim, alif. Te, re. Tamatar. And that's the standard Pashto. Let's try to differentiate between them. Let's see. To differentiate properly, okay. As Tamatar, standard Pashto, and Potingar. Same thing, Tamatar, but the writing is different. It's written like this in Urdu. Because in Urdu, Te is like this. That's the difference. That's Urdu, that's Pashto. Okay. Finished? Next yeah. one. This is a difficult one. The two, like we used in summer. Miwe. Samar and we we don't normally use, mainly use in Afghanistan, Afghanistan. So we don't normally use samar. We some places use miwe, but locally, I think the word fruit has become like a norm in Urdu and Pashto. If you go some shop, they even write on the menu as fruit. They don't write miwe. So the fruit itself, English word fruit, that has become the norm, local uh, locally and even in the cities. They use fruit instead of miwe or samar, okay? But still, we just need to know in Pashto. So the way you write samar is se, mim, re. As three dots, samar. And then o, brackets, miwe. And we have, sorry, it's not this year, miwe. This year, okay? Samar or miwe. Fruits. So it's okay if you use fruit uh, locally or at home, because that has nearly become a norm for us. Finished? Okay. Next one. Okay, we don't have the picture of this. Anyone who knows Sabat and Salim, a meaning of it? Shorbat. Not Shorbat. Sabat or Salim? Me. Me. No. Complete. Yeah, you just saw complete, yeah. If, if the fruit is or the veg is not cut, so it's Salim, it's like its original shape, it's not cut into pieces. But if you cut it, or uh, then it's different. Uh, but normally, whatever is complete, that's why we call it sabat or salim. Roh. Locally we say roh. Good. Uh, roh. Uh, roh. Something roh. Life comes exactly. So something is complete, uncut, roh. It's roh. And when you cut it, it becomes into pieces. Yes? Kajur hmm? nasho. Kajur nevi means motwi. It's pieces. Then it's tukruke, tukre. So pieces called tukre. Okay? Good. How to write it? We don't use it locally quite a lot. We use, as we said, uh, what was it? Ro. Karchevi, exactly. Karchevi Nevi. Sabachivi, Karchevi Nevi. Exactly. When you buy watermelon in Bola, say Roha or sometimes Karchevi. So that's Sabat Salim. Nima. Nima means half. Okay. Okay. Sabat. 
care and some places use solemn. Let me know in finish. No. Is the bay connector or non connector? Connector. Connector, good. And lamb? Yes, connector. Connector, good. What about te? Connector. Finished? Yeah. So once uh, well, I will upload these slides, who have access to download these ones? Everyone here? Yeah? Good. You can download it and you can watch it again and again. Or means the video and the slides. Next one. Jaws. Jaws is it's not standard Pashto. It's our own dialect, okay? It's a standard standard one is Jahaz and Urdu. Some people call it Tiara as well, gonna Pashto. Jahaz and Jihaz. Tiara you can in Afghanistan they use it Tiara, but normally in Pakistan because of the Urdu influence we use Jihaz. Okay? Jihaz and in Afghanistan is Tiara. Al Wataka. Al Wataka as well. Yeah. Yeah, different names, al Wataka as well, yeah. So, famously, it's used jihaz, and how you write it. Jim, he, alif, amre, jihaz, okay? Z, jihaz, good. What's the local dialect accent? Local, you said earlier was correct. Jaws, yeah, jaws. Jaws, yeah. Finished? Yeah. Okay, next one. These are two more plural. Jonde. Jonde means something alive. Life. Small kids. <laughs> no. Jonde. Yeah. Jonde. And it's the same in. Yeah, same in standard Pashto and the local, Jandi. So there's no difference in Jandi. The flags. And one is Janda, Janda, Janda. One is Janda, and plural is Jandi. And how to write it? Jim, He, Noon, and that's Dal. That's Jim. That's noon. And yeah. Okay. So Jim, He, Noon, Dal, Yeah. So remember the question you asked earlier. Whenever we can connect them, we have to connect them in one word. In one word. If different words. But we can't because see here, Dal, it's a non connector, so we can't connect. There's a space. Otherwise, this is a connector, this is a connector, this is a connector. So whenever the connectors are coming together in a word, we have to connect them according to the rules of writing in Pashto. Maybe Urdu and Arabic, same thing, yeah? Finished? Yeah. Good. Oh. Zwana. Zwana. Zwana is female. Zwana. Okay. Zwan, yeah? Something is a young, young person. Uh, Zwan. So Zwan is a, a youth or a young man, okay? So how you write it is remember the word we learn Z or Zim. Write like this. Wow. Alif. Noon. Zwan. Yeah, we use it in some places, but we don't. Uh, locally, would be Zwan. Zalme. Zalme is in even standard Pashto, we say Zalme as well, okay? So that's both are correct. Sara is just a man, okay? So Zalme, Zwan, both are used uh, standard Pashto and dialect as well. Zwan. But can you see the, the usage of 
Z, so it's same as Z. So you, the only thing you see the difference is in writing. Otherwise, the sound is the same as Z, Zwad, Zol, Z. So five, six, five letters. Five, six letters. They, they have the same sound. The writing is different. Finished? Yeah. Next one. Sangal. That is, is a standard or local dialect? Local. local dialect. What's the standard? Zangal is quite similar. Zangal, Zangal, Zangal. Yeah, in Pashto, in local dialect, you say Zangal, there's like extra um, prolongation with Zangal, Gal. And in the standard Pashto, we say Zangal. Yeah. Zangala is a person who like ca caveman, not caveman. Yeah, wild, wild, wild person. <laughs> the person who lives in uh, or behave. Yeah, Zangala who sometimes no no sometimes it's uh, used metaphorically. It's not literally. Literally means a person who lives in Zangal jungle, but we use it in a context with somebody who acts who doesn't act normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of. Yeah, in a way, it's an insult, yeah. yeah. Zangale means you don't behave like a normal person. Okay? So how we write it? Ze, Noon, and then we have Gaf and Lam. Ze, Noon, Gaf, Lam, Zangal, okay? So all of these examples of the words, the letters we have studied, so that's the usage of ze or zim. Sometimes you see in writing, when you write it, uh, handwriting, you can see these, this is connected. That's fine as well. Sometimes you see that it's connected. So that's OK in writing, handwriting. Zangal. That's one. But gofta, this is this is Pashtu gof and Urdu gof is like this. Two bars. That's Urdu and this is Pashto. This one. No, this is Urdu. This is Pashto. We don't have this in Urdu. We have we have to write like this. Finished? Any question? I think all of you should come every week because you're helping me out. Because <laughs> it's, it's very difficult to think of the words because we don't normally use it so. Next one. Who hasn't said it? You say it. Charga, good. Charga is the same in both Charga uh, in standard Pashto and in local dialect. So both are okay, Charga, okay? How we write it? Che, Re. And then go. Hey. Charga, okay? Yeah. Could you do charge? Charge? No. It's charga. Chargi is plural, multiple chargi. Okay? Finished? Next one. Don't say it until ask, okay? Chatre, yes. Chatre is is a local is a standard or local dialect accent. Chatre. Chatre. Local. Local. What's the standard? Chatra. Chatra. Yours? Chatra. Yours. The, the only difference is this one. Let me write it down and I'll show you the difference. Che, te, re, che. Flick. So what happens normally? We transfer this into normally. So this is chatre, chatre. This is when we use locally chatre. That's the only difference we have. Chatre is um, standard, and chatre is local, local dialect. So this is an example for the letter che. 
Is this a connector or non-connector? Connector. And about this one, Che? Uh, connector. Good. Yeah. Finished? Good. Next one. Sapali. Sapali. That is, is it a local, is a standard? Local. Local dialect. Chapali. Chapali, as, as local as well, Chapali. Local dialect we use in our village, our villages. Sapali. Sapali. Yeah, Sapali. So the, again, the difference is, as example of te, te, lam, ye. Spe. Okay, so what we do locally, we instead of supply, as standard, we say supply or chapale. So that's a st local, chapali, supply, and standard is supply. Chapala. Chapala is one, yes, good. Chapala is one. That's a, Okay. And this is se. So the sound is same as se. Uh, Supply. Finished? Finished. Finished. Next one. So when you go home, remember, make sure you memorize these words, okay? Next one. Salor. 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 Same thing. Salor. Yeah. Same thing in standard. Salor. Four. Yod wadri salor. Good. We will study that as well. Good. Okay. How do we write it? Se. Lom. Amre. Salor. Is this a connector or non-connector? Don't say it, just raise your hand. Yes, is it a connect connector? Why is it a connector? Yeah, but it's not both sides. Look here, there's a missing space. Non connector. Good, why? Good, so it's a non connector because. It is not connected with the next word, next letter. So you, you can't connect other letters with it afterwards. You can connect something before it, but not afterwards, okay? Salur, four. Finished? Okay. Alwo. Alwo is local or standard? As, is it local or standard? Alwo. Local. local. Alwo is local. What's the standard? Halwa. Halwa. Halwa is a standard. Pashto and locally we say alwo. He, lam, wow, and he again. Halwa. And locally we say alwo. Finished. It's a dessert, okay? Next one. Who can say it? Halwe. Halwe. Try. Halwa, no. 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 Alwe, no. You say it. It's not halwe. <laughs> because we don't emphasize the ha sound in Pashto. It's he and he and ha and ha is both he. So it's halwe. Halwe, yeah? Halwe. And the same is, the same in standard halwe. Yeah, same. Halwe, yes. In standard is halwe. And in local we say alwe. Alwe, yeah? No, halwe. Halwai, but it's slightly used of he, not 
too much alwai he lam waw alif and we use the other type of ye okay halwai and what is halwai that's a good question uh, does it make a good you just saw it that's why <laughs> next time i'm all, i'm not going to put the meaning translation to yeah uh is it like mitoi exactly yes mitoi yes good so basically the one we studied before was halwa and then the person who makes it is becomes halwai okay but it's not they don't just make halwa they make other dessert other types as well but just fam they known the name is halwai finished there you go khatake khataka khatake khatake khataki no is right khatake no khataki because the ye is k so kh t kaf as kh and this is t khatake as one and khataki if there was khataki that would be plural and two dots but it's khataki and it's the same both of them okay standard and local khataki khataki yeah khataki and what is khataki yes melon the yellow one the other one is called watermelon rest was he okay so now question is who was this how to pronounce this letter connector no this letter how to pronounce it t and is it connector or non connector connector good good and this one cough is it connector or non connector good Okay, we got 5 minutes left, so let's see how many words we can do it. Okay. Next one. Mm. Can you see it? Don't read the transliteration. Read the word. You have to read the word. Yes. Karmane. Karmane. Now. Karmane. Good. Yours? Farmore. Farmore. Farmore is local. Farmane is standard. Farmane. Farmane is standard. Farmore is so Farmore we completely change this bit. It's a ray. The ray sound can be Farmore. That's the local dialect we use. Farmore. and harmony harmony is standard so you have to know kh re mim alif nun and ye apricot okay it's apricot finished looks like we're going to finish this in about 3 weeks time because <laughs> it's quite long and it's important you memorize each one okay because we will make sentences from it yes that's watermelon is indwara and as use hindwana hindwara and this imbora so different different names for it when the standard one is hindwana and wanna Next one Yes Zwat no We move hide the transliteration The what Zwat 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 Dawa Dawa Dwe Dwe 
Dawat, yeah. Bashmore. So in, in standard we say Dawat and in local we say Bashmore. Okay? So Dal Wow Alif and Te. Okay? Dawat. And what is Dawat? Yeah? In pot. In pot. Good. Dawat. Port is anything, any uh, the port, the import is that specific thing. Finished? The what and Tahte, Tahte, I don't know if you haven't seen. Okay, next one. <laughs> you, say, you say it. Yeah? Yeah. There was a. There was a, yes, good. There was a. So we say there was a standard, there was a. Uh, it's a tiny difference, not big difference. There was a, there was a. Okay? And it is, in English? A do. Yeah. So, dal, re, Wow, Alif, Zay, and He. And War, locally we use War as well, okay? War, Darwaza, and this is standard is Darwaza. Okay, can you see here? This one. Can you see the reason it's not, the space is there, this is not connector, this is non-connector, this is non-connector. It's basically all these, except this one, a non-connector, that's why it's written separately. Again, answer to your question. Yeah. Because whenever the non-connectors come, you have to write like this. And this is not connected with this because this is a non-connector. And see, hey, hey itself is a connector. But because Z is non-connector, so you can't connect anything after it. That's why it's written on its own. So all of them, except this is non-connector, connect, and these are all non-connectors. Uh, finished? Okay. Oh, it's time. Next one. Okay. Shall we? Okay, do this last one and then finish. Okay, because I have to. Okay. Dol. 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 It's a dol. It's a dol. Dol. No. Dol. Dol. Okay. So dol. Dol is uh, the pron the way we pronounce dol is local dialect, and dol is standard. So dol and dol. Dol is local, and dol is standard. Dupre is the other ones. The Normally, ones. you can no, you can't call it Dupre. It's Dul. but Dupre is the, the one the tabli is or tabli as well. Yeah. Dupre is called tabli. Yeah. That's with that's with tway. Tablas with tway. Okay. Uh, it's dal, wow, and lom. Okay. Again, okay, same example. This is a non-connector, non-connector, and this connector. But this is not connected because this is a non-connector. Dol or the play. So just to give you a guide, this is the same in Urdu as well, except the writing would be different because we write dol differently in Urdu. So that's why I said if you learn these uh, words, mm, a lot of them they are used in Urdu, even Farsi. So you will have uh, control of a lot of the words in other languages. Okay. Next one, and this is the final one. The same doll example is in the shoe 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 box. The bay, the bay, the bay, the bay, Okay, so the standard is the bay. Okay, and the local one is the bay. The local one is the bay, and the standard is the bay. 
Baksa is the big one, the, the sanduk, that's called baksa. The big one. Sanduk is su suitcase, yeah, but big one, not this one. It's called the base, the tiny one, the shoe one, shoe size, shoe uh, size box. Okay, so that's the bay. Jimpuri. Jimpuri? Jim Shemede. Tempura is a classic. Ray, Ray Puri. Okay, finished? Yes. Oh, the B. The B as well, okay. Next one. Okay, so Dwapuri goes. Next one is? Zol. Okay. Zakhir. Zakhira. What is Zakhira? No. What is Zakhira? Stocking. 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 Yeah. Stocking. Stockpile. Yeah. Stockpile. Stockpile. Yeah. Stockpile. Zakhira. When you collect, when you stockpile something, okay. And how do you write it? And how do you say in Pashto? Uh, it's in local. Local. Jamawi. Jamawari. We don't we don't normally use it that much <laughs> locally. Yeah, we don't normally use it. Jama, Jama Kawana we don't normally use it. Someone got the one that's different because Zakhira is specific. You connect uh, you collect one uh, different types in stockpile. A Zakhira and Dozi is normally is haram in Islam as well. You can't, uh, you can't do Zakhira and Dozi. You can't do stockpiling. Because if something is needed in the market and you stockpile it, it's haram, it's, you're, not, you're not allowed to do it. Uh, Zakhira is, if everything is available in the shop, everywhere, if you do it, then it's fine. But if there's a problem in the market and you do Zakhira and Dozi, stockpiling is not allowed because you have to bring it to the market. Order some stuff and just put it in the, in the back store. Like that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Exactly. But if you know that the, this need for market and you do it, like people buy. Like that was, wasn't allowed, yeah. Islam inquiry, because you can't do the Khirandozi. Yeah. Uh, next one, okay. Uh, so how you write it? Ze, Khe, Ye, Khe, Ye, and Zakhira, yeah? Zakhira. Stockpile. Okay. To the last one, I think this is, we do this one because people might be outside. Okay, next one is? Zarabin. And what is Zarabin? Zarabin. And what do we say locally? Zarabi. 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 Now we say locally. Mirsh. You can use the same mirsh. Mir, we use it for a as well, burning something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's uh, Zarabin. I don't think we use it locally. No, we don't use it. Mirsh. Shawti. Exactly, we don't use it locally. Zarabin, yeah? Ze. Re, he, and bin. So actually, this this, this is a com, com, combination of two words, zarab and bin. So some you, you use it for to see something small, zarabin, okay? Or zarab means small portion items, zarabin. Okay, re, this is good. Rickshaw. Rickshaw. Yeah, rickshaw is in English. Tap uh, is different. Rikshah. 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 Shin. And how do you say locally? Rishka. Uh, we say Rishka as well, okay? So Rikshah is standard and Rishka we say it locally. Tap Tapa is motorbike. Yeah, but not the motorbike. Uh, we use is the scooty. Scooty, yeah, scooty, scooty. Not a motorbike. Scooty, scooty is my top Okay, and the last one, this one. Yeah. Ray. Rail guardi. Yeah, rail guardi. Rail guardi is standard and locally we call it. Rail gode. Rail gode. Ray. 
ye rail rail is actually the the track is is called rail the track is called rail and gadi means uh, the 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 vehicle gaf alif and a rail gadi Okay that's it for today we will see you next week session inshallah make sure you practice this and we will see you next week inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh